Festival of the Lost releases today in Destiny 2 in 2023, October 17th. In this video, we're going to cover everything you need to know about this year's spooky event. How does festival work? What's new in legend sectors, exotic focusing, and eerie engrams? The weapons, armor, and cosmetics you can earn and purchase, and much more. Let's first talk about how this event works for those who have never played. We first begin by loading into the tower and visiting this event's vendor, Eva Levante, who will show you around a bit. She'll give you a Festival of the Lost mask in your first spectral pages, setting you up to jump into the event and learn how everything works. Playing almost any activity while wearing a Festival of the Lost mask will earn you spectral pages. This is sort of an event currency. Once you have Spectral Pages, you launch the Haunted Lost Sectors activity found on the tower map or next to Eva Levante. Upon completion, your Spectral Pages you had will convert into Manifested Pages. So the idea is you load into this Lost Sector activity with your friends or random guardians and these Capture Zones will spawn. Stand in them to summon a Headless One and defeat it. Each Headless One you defeat will convert one Spectral Page to a Manifested Page. Guardian, I've updated Ikora on your progress with the Headless Ones. What progress? We've ground through enough pumpkin heads to bake Oryx a pie. Cease your whining. No one insisted you take this mission. You chose to. Hmm, let's see. Bum around the tower or babysit your Guardian while they kill stuff. Real tough choice. Manifested pages are then used at the Book of the Forgotten found at the Tower, a chance of getting some rewards like a new weapon. Also, I believe some lore if you don't already have it unless there's new lore this year. Next to that, you also have the event card, both free and paid, which returns for another year. The manifested pages will help you unlock some of those challenges and get to earn some of those rewards. New this year is the Legend Haunted Lost Sectors, Eerie Engrams and Exotic Focusing. Legend sectors will be harder difficulty and include things like champions, but will offer greater rewards and benefits. The Eerie Engram is also new. You can earn these from the haunted sectors, but they will have a higher chance to drop on the legend versions. If you decrypt an Eerie Engram, they'll offer some small rewards, or they can be used to focus exotics. Hocus Focusing is brand new this year. Players will have the opportunity to acquire exotic armor with four focusing categories, in addition to the legendary weapons focusing. You'll be able to focus exotic arms, legs, helmet, and chest, a randomized festival of the lost weapon, or a specific festival weapon. To do this, it'll cost one eerie engram and different varieties of candy. If you were wondering, you can also get exotics you don't already have unlocked, by the way. The event card is the same as it's been, unlock challenges to earn event rewards. If you buy the upgraded version, you get some more goodies than the others. Here are all the event card rewards.
Here are all the Eververse items. Here is the new armor set and grenade launcher weapon. Anyway, that seems to about wrap it up. The tower looks the same, but let us know if you found any secrets or easter eggs in the comments below. If there's some new lore, we'll definitely be diving into that in a future video, and I thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see some more Destiny lore and mysteries just like this one, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll catch all you Guardians in the next video.